Now, when you think about the worst brain rot content on YouTube or the internet as a whole, you probably wouldn't think twice about Lankybox and their terrible, extremely terrible channel. But what if I told you that there was another channel which is still pretty bad? Okay, it's not nearly as bad as Lankybox, but it's honestly awful. Before we get into this video, I'm sorry in advance because the channel that we are looking at today is one that will leave you questioning your will to live. <clears throat> Alright, I'm joking, that's a little bit too much. But Topper Guild is a creator that I've wanted to speak about for a while, but really couldn't think of a good reason for doing so. Up until I saw some pretty terrible allegations that recently came out against him over on TikTok from a content creator who was in one of his videos. These allegations are pretty serious, so I had to get a sponsor in order to even speak about them. So thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. I'm pleased to share with you HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. Now, what is HelloFresh? Well, it's a meal delivery service which is delivered freshly to your doorstep every week. And it includes step-by-step -step instructions to help you make high quality meals in the comfort of your own home. I tried HelloFresh out last year and honestly, it was great. On the HelloFresh website, I was able to choose from 30 plus different calorie smart and protein smart recipes, which in my busy life really helped me stay on track to hit my weight loss goals. With fresh ingredients delivered every week, it made every meal feel like it was professionally cooked and I never had to worry about missing items or having to run out to the store for added ingredients. HelloFresh is also helping me start my day off right with breakfast items which are free for life with your subscription. These breakfast items help me be creative with breakfast so that I don't get bored of the same old eggs and turkey every single morning. These HelloFresh meals kept me on track to reach my goals in a tasty way without getting bored of the usual diets like chicken and rice. And when life got too busy or if I was on vacation and away from my house, I didn't need to worry about my meals being delivered without me being there. On the website, I could change the delivery date or even skip a week which helped me stress less when I was vacationing or even relaxing. So what are you waiting for? Support the channel by clicking my link in the description below or scan the QR code, which has been up on the screen the whole entire integration. And subscribe to HelloFresh. Now every single purchase helps me create even more awesome content for you guys. So it really does help the channel and it really does help me. So please check it out in the comments down below. Now, if you don't know who Topper Guild is, let me give you a quick rundown of his brain rock content, which really took off over on TikTok. Strap in and be ready to leave this video with one less brain cell, but don't worry because you're not alone because I lost a ton of brain cells even researching for this video. So leave a like for this video because I feel like I should be in a mental hospital after even researching this video. So yeah. On TikTok, I saw this dude really blow up because of some terrible content like this. The jungles begin to wither and die. Damn, fam, you got the whole chat laughing. Now, as you can tell, this is not funny, and Topper built his brand off of this type of content. Now, you're free to do whatever you want with your money, as long as you're not on some Diddy type of timing. Hey, yo, what the fuck? But I feel like the line that you shouldn't cross is when you waste a ton of food for the sake of, you guessed it, views. Not only is this stupid, unfunny, and brain rot, but honestly, how long does it even take to clean up all of this mess for a 30 second video? Like this dude really poured like five gallons of syrup on some waffles just for like a 45 second video that really wasn't even funny. And the only thing that was funny about it was making fun of him. If I even spill a little bit of food on the ground, I get angry because now I have to take the five minutes to clean it up and then my food would probably get cold. So imagine having to clean up five gallons of just straight syrup, which is extremely sticky and it's just gross. Even if you put a tarp down, which is probably what he did in the video because you really can't see the ground, it'll still fly all over the place. And it's not like it's sliding around just like the island. It'll probably slide down his cabinets and everywhere. I don't know. It's just not great. It's not a great thing. This is just the epitome of just doing anything for views. And because his whole persona was this style of video, people started making fun of him and the stupidity around his videos. But because he does literally everything for views, he didn't really care. These videos helped him gain over 31 million followers on TikTok as of today. But he did end up switching his content, thankfully, in 2022 and started posting semi-random videos. And he'd have the occasional video where he'd make fun of his older videos. But again, they just weren't funny. 
And then like every TikToker who gets exposed or gets into controversy, he'd start giving back to the less fortunate. At least giving back for like five videos out of like the 100 or 200 videos that he's made already. He'd start every video with an old video of him wasting the food, but then ends up making the same food that he wasted and then starts giving it out to homeless people that are on the street. And at first glance, this is nice, but again, this is just for views and attention. And I'm laughing right now because of how stupid that just sounds. Now, if it wasn't just for views and attention, then he would have been doing this for way longer than just five videos. And again, even within these five videos, people would start to call him out in the comments and you make a pretty terrible response video saying something like, I can't make everybody happy. You guys are mad when I waste food, but then when I give back to the community, then I'm in trouble too. It was pretty terrible, but here, watch it. Bro realized he will get more views when he does this. Okay, so I do a bunch of videos with a lot of food, get a ton of hate for them. Then I do a bunch of videos where I spend thousands of my own dollars, hours of my own time to feed the less fortunate, and I still get a ton of hate. Like, what, what will it take for you guys to be happy? I think this was also the same time of him trying to reach a personal goal on TikTok. Like, oh yeah, help me reach like 30 million followers. So that could have also been another huge reason and probably the more prominent reason as to why he was even giving back to homeless people because it was something that could have gotten him on the For You page and people probably would have saw it or stumbled across it and been like, wow, this guy is great. In reality, he's not. <laughs> it's just, it's not true. And of course, just like every TikToker at the time, was, this is like 2021, he started doing life hacks, which I mean, like, come on. This really boosted his following because for some reason, life hacks on TikTok were huge back in the day. Now, it would be no surprise to anyone that this idiot was also friends with another known idiot named Jack Doherty during this time. And I say that now because at the end of the video, it'll all link together. During the time that Topper was posting onto his TikTok account, he was also posting shorts onto his YouTube channel. And he was growing there too, which is kind of incredible. These shorts gained a lot of attention with the most popular short having close to 1 billion views. And yes, that's billion with a B. Here's this masterclass of a video and just tell me how great it is in the comments down below. Let me see. Baby. Hey. What's up? What are you doing? Um, cleaning. Cleaning? Just doing the dishes. Baby, is this your sponge? Yeah, why? This video was posted in 2021 and has 22 million likes. Now, I'm not sure who this content is for. I think it's like a mix of really young kids, like probably like still in pull-ups and also boomers on Facebook who believe anything and are also in pull-ups. So that kind of makes sense. Not only is this video so staged that Stevie Wonder could see that it was fake, but it wasn't funny either. Multiple times in the video, his girlfriend could have seen him switch the sponge for this blue Rice Krispies treat, literally right here. She could have seen him out of the corner of her eye, which just makes no sense. But uh, again, obviously this isn't content meant for anyone with a fully developed brain to enjoy. So that's why it isn't my cup of tea. These shorts videos helped Topper gain traction on his YouTube channel. And because he was pulling in millions of views, it was time to make some long form content to capitalize on it. Now, when I was first going to make a video on Topper Guild a couple of years ago, his long form videos weren't doing that well. About 100k views per video when Topper had over 10 million subscribers. So it's not really that great in the grand scheme of things, but now it's kind of insane. I have no screenshots of this, so you're just going to have to take my word for it and uh, just go on from there. So at the time, I just thought that he was just a shorts creator who really wouldn't make it big doing long form content. But boy, was I wrong. Looking back at the channel now, the dude grew from 10 million subscribers all the way to 45 million subscribers, and his videos gain a ton of views over the four or five million mark. Now this growth wasn't completely genuine though. Like people didn't subscribe because he made really great content. Well, maybe some people did, and I'm sorry if that was you. But some were asked to subscribe by another creator named Zong, who was bigger than Topper at the time, and I might make a video on later on. He just ruined my life. Let me explain. As you guys saw, I recently got my new play button, but then this happened, and YouTube said, They said the only way they'll give me a new one is if I pass Zong and subscribers. Wait, Zong! Uh, what are you doing? I'm uh, nothing. I'm just playing with my ball. Oh, okay, since you broke my play button, you have to get me a new one, or I'm gonna tell your girlfriend what you did. Okay. First, Zong tried live streaming to his 29 million subscribers, telling people to. Guys, I need everybody to go subscribe to Topper 
Next, he opened a kissing booth offering a kiss in exchange for a subscribe. But nobody came, so the subscriber growth was still too slow. Guys, I need your help. Please subscribe to Topper. I can get his new play button. This wouldn't be the first time that Topper would get a shout out like this or manipulate his TikTok audience to subscribe to his YouTube channel because he'd do it a ton on his TikTok account. In my opinion, it's pretty much like when everyone was subscribing to PewDiePie so that he can surpass T-Series. No one really watched him, but it was to support him. And you may say something like, why don't they just unsubscribe after they've already got him to that point? And to that, I'll say that I'm literally subscribed to people who I haven't watched in years. But it's easier to stay subscribed to them rather than to search for their channel and then unsubscribe. And also, sometimes you just forget. The more you don't watch their channel, the more it gets pushed down further and further and further on your subscribers list. So you probably just forget. It even gets to a point now where if you don't watch a, a channel for so long, then even if they post something new, then it won't pop up. Another big reason why Topper Guild is still growing is due to the Mr. Beastification on YouTube. It's pretty crazy that Topper Guild's thumbnails and videos look eerily similar to Mr. Beast. And sometimes copying Mr. Beast's videos or his thumbnails doesn't always work in one's favor, but in this situation, it sort of did. Like Topper's oldest videos had terrible thumbnails, but once he started copying Mr. Beast and his video style and his thumbnails, that's when his videos started to do really, really well. He'd also copy Just Dustin for a couple of his videos as well with some of his ideas. But just like Eric, almost all of Topper's videos are clickbait or fake. I mean, obviously, you just, just look at these thumbnails and titles. First one up, Topper Guild was murdered, with Topper Guild on a tombstone. Now, of course, he wasn't murdered, but let's look at this video. Let me save Topper. Right. Left. Oh, bruh. Back up, back up, back up. Wait, th there's one of them. Where's the big, ugly one? Wait, th there he is. What was this? Yes, yes! Oh, topper, Topper, you, you, you're gonna go. Somebody working in tandem. Did you hear that? Come on! Nope, uh, he wasn't murdered. Next video title is Topper Guild Dead. Again, same thumbnail a couple weeks later, and you guessed it, he's not dead. And the last one, Topper Guild was murdered, which was more recent, but uh, nope, he's not murdered. If he wasn't murdered the first time, he definitely was not murdered the second time or third time. But again, the kids that watch him are probably like, no! And then they'll just click on this video because they think he actually got murdered. Now again, my video was held off for so long because of the fake videos. It's not truly that bad to fake videos as long as it's pitched towards kids. Like if it was Mr. Beast or a game show faking the winner, then it would be a bigger issue. But when you're showing it to kids, then it's not really that bad. I mean, it is, but it's not. It's kind of confusing. But what is bad is when you start hurting people who are in your videos. Like this content creator over on TikTok who over a year ago posted a video of chemical burns that she sustained while filming a prank video. At the time, no one knew who she was or who she was talking about. It wouldn't be until recently where I stumbled across her video on my For You page which showed how long it took her to recover from those burns. I had to switch the music out for copyright reasons, but here's the video. As you can see, the burns are still visible, and she wrote, Me when someone sees my scars, but doesn't know their burn scars from being in a video for a YouTuber that ghosted me after saying he'd pay my medical bills. I feel like this is a reoccurring situation with every huge YouTuber. I'm gonna rant a bit, but I feel like every terrible YouTuber who does anything for views will literally harm people in the videos without any care, as long as the videos do well. We saw that just recently with Jack Doherty crashing his McLaren and immediately having his cameraman, who is bloody and injured, record the whole entire incident. And if you thought Jack was truly concerned for anyone but himself, you'd be wrong. The dude literally had his shirt off after the crash, which one, is weird, and two, made absolutely no sense. It was literally raining, which is the whole reason why he crashed his McLaren in the first place. So I don't understand why he would take his shirt off for absolutely no reason, except for show off his abs for whatever girl audience he has, because he also has an OF, random, random fact out there, just throwing it out there, but yeah. Now, even after this, he's just begging for money over on TikTok Live, and uh, yeah, that's happening. Again, Topper Guild and Jack Doherty are the same, but different. Jack doesn't try to make it seem like he's this great, wholesome person who gives back to the community and is for the kids. He makes it known to everyone that he's a piece of garbage and he doesn't care. Topper, on the other hand, wants to act like he's kid-friendly, mostly for the sweet ad revenue that he can get for targeting kids, 
but deep down, Topper couldn't care less about this stuff. His content is just brain rot, and then he hurts this content creator who tried to help him out by making a video, and then ghosts her because of her medical bills. And even though these are just allegations, these allegations haven't been debunked by Topper Guild, and it's not like these videos didn't get a ton of attention. They literally have close to 5 million views altogether. Topper, I'm sure, saw the videos and just didn't care enough to fix the problem. His good audience isn't going anywhere, so he's in the clear. So he can keep making videos like these. We should check it again. Let's go. Oh no, guys, he's coming. Okay, feels like a decoy. No, no, no. Sounds like wood. Wait. Oh. oh man, guys, I think he's gonna find me. No way. Oh, you found me. Yo, I didn't know you could build a secret room here. All right, well, now that you found it, Come check it out. I'll give you a little tour. Welcome to my secret Ronaldo soccer field. Pretty cool, Topper, but I can't even stand up. It's kind of tight in here, don't you think? Uh, no, Zong, that's because you're really tall. Really? Yeah. Okay, that kind of makes sense. Here, but come on, let's, uh, l let me show you around a little bit, okay? Z Topper Guild is a cringy, unfunny creator who uses anyone around him to get more views and attention. All attention is good attention, and he understands this and uses it as an advantage even making videos on other creators who called him out in the past. This uncaring strategy helped him achieve over 40 million subscribers on YouTube, and he continues to grow every single day. It's just another example of making someone internet famous for no reason other than kids just feeling the need to help him whenever anybody shouts him out and asks them to subscribe. This only helps his pockets get bigger and bigger, while creators like me or smaller creators who actually try to put out good content get left in the dust because Topper can push out a ton of videos because they aren't hard to make and he can clickbait his kid audience with very little repercussions for his actions. Anyways, have you heard about Topper Guild and his terrible videos and TikTok videos? Let me know in the comments down below. While you're down there, let me know what other creators I should check out and leave a like and subscribe to the channel to help the video out. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. The other day, I was scrolling on TikTok, like I normally do to find content to make videos about, and I stumbled across a TikTok video by a creator named JP. At the time, I had no clue who he was, or what he was going on about, or why he was living out of a van. But after liking that video, I saw other videos pop up on my For You page that spoke about a YouTube channel named Healthy Junk Food.